Hi everybody. Oh, <laughs> what was that? So I did some more shopping at Sephora for the VIB sale. So let's have some coffee and share what I got. Let me just show you this delightfulness I got going on. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Chocolate pumpkin latte. <laughs> it's just pumpkin coffee with some chocolate with cream. I mean, let's be honest. I'm not that fancy. So there was a few things I wanted to get for myself and then I saw that was Bite Beauty had those little mingle, mix and mingle things. These little things and like you could hang them um, on top of something <laughs> and it has like a little to and from so it's like a great little stocking stuffer or gift thing. So I got four of them. Two for me, two for someone I will not name. <laughs> and. So yeah, we're going to leave the two that are not for me away. Um, I'm going to show you the other things I got that, yeah, that I just wanted. Let's be real. Let's be real. So the sale you get is like little plastic canvas tote. It's nice. I like to use it for my lunches at work. So whatever. It works for me. So let's get started. I'll start off with the two items I got from the Mix and Mingle sets. Um, from Bite Beauty. If, as you guys know, I'm obsessed with Bite Beauty. I think their lip products are super amazing, phenomenal, top-notch must-haves. I'm really wanting this matte lip cream in the color Aubergine. Um, it looks like this beautiful, beautiful purple color. So that's what the adorable little box looks like. So cute. And then it's just a little tiny pencil, which is perfect for someone like me because I own a lot of stuff. This stuff is literally like ice, like ice frozen. It's like two degrees out today. So cool. Let's see if it swatches. Oh yeah, it still swatches good. So this is like a beautiful dark eggplant burgundy purple. It's gorgeous. I love it. I already obviously have like lip products and lip gloss on, so I'm just going to put a little bit on because I couldn't wait. So that's a very light swatch because I have lip gloss on, but... That color is going to be perfect. I love dark, vampy purple lips. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a dark brandy, aubergine, purple, merlot. I like it. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. And this one is one of their double-ended lipsticks um, in the colors Scarlet and Poppy. So it's like a dark burgundy color on one side and then a bright red on the other. And I thought I needed it, so I got it. I mean, this is super cute. So just a little tiny baby size, and on each side comes a little tiny baby lipstick. Which, once again, it's not a lot of product, but it works good for me because I'm one of those crazy people that have a ton of lip products. Even after I just purge a ton of stuff. So this side is Scarlet and this side is Poppy. So let's get some swatches because they are gorgeous. I think that Poppy is going to be so much fun. It's like a dark chocolate brown almost. It's pretty similar to Aubergine but a, a lot more darker as you can see. A little bit more darker, a little bit more brown tone. Beautiful. It almost makes that Aubergine just look red. So it's a super dark intense one. Poppy looks like it's just going to be your gorgeous like classic pinup red. A little bit of pink undertones to it. So there is Poppy next to it. So totally some least colors right up my alley. I'm excited. I like it already. And I already know I love the Formula Bite products, so um, I always know that they're going to be a hit for me. Okay. Then something else. I, I didn't need this, but I wanted it. Um, so I have all the Becca blushes now except for Damselfly or Dam... Yeah, Damselfly. Um, and I don't feel like I'm going to get that one because I have Flower Child, which is a good coral for me, and I have Songbird, which is kind of like a deeper um, orangey coral kind of color. Um, so I don't feel like I need another kind of coral from them. So I got the color called Wild Honey. I actually wanted this for quite some time, but every time I would go to purchase it, it would be out of stock because Jaclyn Hill would talk about it. You guys know how that goes. But so this color, I haven't even opened it. Let's open it now. I feel like everything's like frozen solid. This is a really pretty, um, it almost looks like a bronzer, but it's like a really pretty peachy orange. The 
this is going to be gorgeous. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Becca blushes seriously are like my favorite formula. Can you see how cold my, <laughs> my products are? It's like all frosted over. Um, but there's a swatch of wild honey there. So it's kind of like a terracotta, warm, orangey, beigey brown. Um, and I think on the cheeks it's just going to look beautiful. So I'm so excited I finally own this. I can't wait to try it. Alright, last but not least, um, I got another beauty blender because I love my beauty blender. They just, they're so good. Yes, they're expensive, but they last so much longer. So they usually cost $19.99, um, but I got this one, and this was $25, but it comes with a little beauty blender solid in here, and I've always wanted to try the beauty blender solid cleanser because apparently it's like magic. Um, so I got... A new beauty blender that came with the beauty blender solid cleanser which I'm excited to try because apparently it gets your beauty blenders really clean and you guys know if you use really like full coverage really long lasting foundations it's quite hard to get out of brushes and sponges so I thought the beauty blender cleanser and blender would be a good deal <laughs> so I'm excited to try the beauty blender cleanser and I already know I love the beauty blender so that's the stuff I got not a lot but just some little things that I really wanted and the samples I got um, I didn't do any like point purchases or anything like that there was nothing that wowed me a little thing of the Elizabeth James Nirvana black um, perfume I have a couple of samples of those and I really like it and I just like to get samples so that way I never get sick of something <laughs> and then I got the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer I already know I like this but I figured it's always nice to have like a little packet size like this so you could just bring with you traveling. And then the Tokyo Milk Dark Tainted Love Shea Butter Hand Cream. So that was my little baby Sephora VIB sale stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys took advantage of the sale as well and got some fun stuff. If so, leave me a comment down below telling me what you guys picked up. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye everybody.